Hey guys, James with TFB TV here at IWA in Nuremberg. I'm at the Donnerstall booth. Did I say that right, Stefan? Yeah. Welcome. Donnerstall. Donnerstall. <laughs> <laughs> I was close enough, right? Uh, so we've walked by a couple of times this booth, and I've seen these pistol chassis systems that are, are really minimalistic, and you've got like a, a decent degree of modularity, notwithstanding the fact they're not very bulky. Stefan, yeah. tell us all about these. So. This is the Odin Gen 2 universal carbon stock system. It's the world first and only that can hold every handgun with a Picatinny rail on the grip. So that's the absolutely first module. All the others are just for Glock, or just for one or two weapons, but this can hold, I don't know how many hundreds of different weapons from every manufacturer. Walk me through the features real quick. Yeah. So what do we have? This is the full system. We have a folding stock. We do have the possibility to mount a red dot device on here. We do have the possibility to mount every grip on here, every AR-15 stock you want. You can have it totally modular by yourself and it is fully made of aluminium, no plastic shit. This is German quality. <laughs> And talk to me about maybe the different levels of trim we would say in the United States. Like, I can if I want the very basic model versus the model with the most features, what am I talking about? So, um, we can here see both models. This is the optics ready version. If you have a, a, a red dot mounted directly on the slide of the gun, you can use this in this version. It's, it's the only possibility, every other system can't fit. And if you just want to aim over your gun, you can do it as well. So we have all the different versions for you. How much does, say, a, a minimal version like this, how much does this cost versus, say, the version with the most accessories, the most features? Yeah, okay. So the optics ready version will be about $500 and the full version will be about $700. Are these coming to the United States at all? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think there'd be a lot of people interested in these. Yeah. These are very popular yeah. in the U.S. Now, I have to ask you, with only one point of contact mm -hmm. here at the dust yeah. cover under the rail, how strong, how robust really is this yeah. system? Yeah, so we tested it with really a lot of guns. At first, when we thought about the concept, we had our doubts. But then we tested it, and even the plastic guns make more than 2,000 shots every day and it does not break. It's strong enough to fit, to hold, and to be accurate. Let me ask you this then. What would you say is the best, and this might even be a personal question, okay. but what is the best pistol for this platform? Whew, that's a tough question. Deliberately, that's what they pay me for, right? <laughs> yeah, so my personal favorite would be a ZZ P10F or maybe the Walter Q5 steel frame. What type of life am I expecting out of this? Because you mentioned, you, you said some of these go 2,000 rounds a day. Yeah. I mean, over how many days? Two days? <laughs> you know, like 20 days, 200 days. Yeah, um, that's an interesting question because we did not reach the limit of our products yet and we're testing nearly every day because we always have to try new uh, pistols to say to our customers, yeah, okay, your pistol will fit. So, um, there's also one thing that this concept is totally modular. So, if someone uh, or someone would be able to break something, we can re just re replace it without replacing the whole system. I see. And what type of warranty do these have? Two years. Stefan, thank you very much for answering our questions. Thank you. I've tried to stump you, you know, a couple of times, but you had all the answers. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more from Ewa and Nuremberg. Thank you.